Hey, you doing anything over April break? Are you going to post anything on Instagram? If you do, tag us, HHS TV for me, and you could be featured in a future episode. Good morning, Hopperton High School, and welcome back to HHS Today. I'm your host, Chris North. We've got some awesome segments along the way for you, starting with a report on school lunches here at HHS. Take it away, Haley and Maddie. So today we're here at First Lunch asking HHS students what their favorite lunch is to buy here. What's your favorite lunch to buy at HHS? Pizza sticks. I have to say that the buffalo mac and cheese that they were serving today was pretty divine. I love the chicken they do with a multitude of sauces. Uh, there's an orange one I like, it's very good. Well, since I work at the deli bar, I would have to say that. Here, we've got our food. Buffalo mac and cheese, regular mac and cheese, garlic bread, and one piece of broccoli. So we're going to dig into this. Buffalo mac and cheese was definitely really good, but I recommend it to people who prefer spices. It's def there's definitely a kick in there that would surprise many people. <laughs> so if you don't want spice, you can go ahead and try the regular mac and cheese, which also was really good. Um, I had some of that. The last thing on the plate is this broccoli. So I'm going to try that. I have good expectations. I mean, it's broccoli. I bet they did a great job with it. Good meal overall. And we're going to try some other ones. Everyone really liked the chicken. We'll try that one day and the pizza. That was one awesome segment, but I'm starving now. Let's distract ourselves with an interview with one of our teachers, Mr. Worrell. You have the sound on? Let me do like the singers do. You sure you know how to operate this camera? My name is Sterling Worrell. I am the photography teacher here in the art department. I also teach animation, and uh, I've been here since uh, 1999, so I'm on year 19. Undergraduate, I went to University of Tennessee and got my uh, BFA in graphic design and photography. And then for graduate school, I went to Massachusetts College of Art and Design in Boston and got a master's degree in photography. Well, part of it had to do with geography. It was in the right place. You know, my wife had a job in the area, so I was looking and uh, I'd been running uh, summer camps, so I'd been working with this age group before, and I said, you know, I, I could teach full-time for uh, high school. And so I just, you know, those things combined for me ending up here, really. Favorite part about my job is when I get a kid that really latches onto photography, and I can just keep feeding them, you know, him or her more stuff about photography, cameras, approaches, and they just soak it all in. It really uh, is, is great for me. Uh, I guess my favorite, all-time favorite pastime that I've been doing most of my life is sailing. I race sailboats, and I also do a lot of backpacking and a lot of skiing. Start later, definitely. Wow, I wish I could take photography now. Hey! But don't worry, I still love being a part of HHS TV. Moving right along, we have, you guessed it, another interview. This one's with Mr. Fry. Let's take a look. How long have you been teaching? I've been teaching for 13 years, and all that, all that time has been at Hopkinton High School. What made you decide to become an English teacher? More than anything, I tried to think of an opportunity, a way that I could uh, really torture students, and I thought teaching English would be the easiest way. What is your favorite book? Probably The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. What are some of your hobbies? I bicycle when the weather's warm. Just uh, I was a competitive bicyclist when I was in high school, so I do a lot of biking, hiking. If you didn't become an English teacher, what would you be? When I was younger, the first job that I remember ever wanting to be was a was a ranger, like in a national park. Do you enjoy your job? I love my job. What a great interview! Thanks, Mr. Fry. Now it's time for you guys to meet a new member here at HHS, the new administrative assistant, Miss Sables. Hello, can you tell us who you are and what you do? Yes, my name is Mrs. Sables. I'm the new executive secretary to the principal. Where did you grow up? I actually grew up in Holliston, just one town over. What made you decide to work here? I think I was looking for a sense of community. In your beginning weeks here, what has surprised you the most? 
All the staff I've met, all the students I've met so far have been so nice and so welcoming. What has been the most fun so far? Probably my, my office mates in here. What has been the most challenging thing so far? Well, I've been here about a week and a half and I'm not fully trained on all my duties yet. So I think the most challenging thing has been I want more stuff to do. I want to you know, help the school as much as I can. So I'm excited to get going. When you're not here, what do you do? I have a four-year-old daughter. Um, we like to go for walks. We like to go to the beach, take the dog to lakes to swim. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time with us, Ms. Sables. Lastly, it's time for a segment we've all been waiting for. Have you seen this? Okay, this is a tough one. I might have to do some serious searching after school. You can't win, Chris. You're in HHSTV. Hmm, that photography class is looking better and better. So, I guess for everybody else, if you know where that picture was taken, email us for a chance to win a prize. That's all the time we have for today, folks. If you enjoyed our show, check out our website and our Instagram where the fun continues. This week, our online-only content is the Japanese Students' Assembly. And don't forget to email us to let us know how we're doing and with your Have You Seen This entries to hhstv at hillers.org. Thank you for watching HHS Today, and we will see you next time.